Good day, talented dreamers. Welcome to our channel. Free Spirit is a channel that pushed the barriers of popular beliefs and show different angles of stuff you have been conditioned to understood, judged and believed. This initiative will allow your mind to retake control of an original source so you can become a free thinker, a free spirit. Decide what you want to believe consciously. Choose your beliefs for your own good and become the best version of yourself. The best way to explain anything to anyone is by simple examples they can relate to. The universal language understood is feeling, and emotion. So well, we want to educate you throughout laughs, surprises, choking examples and games. Since we are seekers just like you and we don't pretend to know more than you, let's just look at different views through different eyes. And if you didn't learn anything unless we will have a good time. In the following video, we would like to introduce you, people from the Philippines, who by their natural talent have developed businesses from scratch to support their families. Let's see if you can detect popular beliefs that we North Americans have been conditioned by. If you like that video please join the community by subscribing to the channel. Like. And share. Let's start. This is Talavera Park. This is the municipality of Talavera. I'm going to find a lot of a lot of business here. Usually um small scale business. Uh, people selling people selling um people selling are you drawers people selling um food this is called sweet a sweet food there are people selling food for a living so they're um Here is what you call sago. This is sago. This is really nice. It's really good. And then buko juice and then pineapple juice. This cup costs 5 pesos each. And here is the peanuts. This is fried peanuts and fried corn. At the Lord, dito muna ako. Ito na naman ako. They're also selling uh, balot. How much po isang ano, balot? 7.4. Seven. Organic ba siya? Organic. They're, they're organic eggs. Okay, I'm making interview. I'm going here. Maya. So, I'm here in municipality of Talavera. Going to look around. It's very hot. I'm going to look around. And it's like, oh my god. Going to look around. To interview more people. Okay. Here, 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 here. So they all. We also have here. Um, I'm here in the park. As you can see, there are uh, lots of. There are families. There are lots of kids here. They're watching the big snakes. Don't be afraid here. And uh, a friend here is selling toys because a lot of kids come to park and they were given by the local municipality the right to sell. The right to sell um, toys. Look at the toys. Yes. See? And here is the park. Here's the park. And we have uh, where's the crocodile here? When the crocodile was gone, it's dead. Where's the crocodile? Here's the fountain. Okay. And there were families and uh, friends. Family and friends stays here during weekends. So, um, because this place is free, they just going to bring. They just need fare to go here, and then uh, 
they go back to their homes like uh, hello their families here okay I'm going down <coughs> excuse me you can see there were lots of um, vendors okay Manong here I, Manong ano po yung tinda nyo what do you sell <coughs> takoyaki is it made of vegetable po vegetable po how much po ha huh? <coughs> 3 pieces for 10 pesos this is takoyaki by Manong Manong hello and I'll go there and then here's another one selling what do you sell Shomai and Gulaman. Okay. Hello. Ay, sarado siya. <coughs> How much? Ano yung tinda mo? Going to make an interview with uh, a couple who's doing a living here. Their couple's doing a li living and they're selling lugaw. In other words, it's called kanji. So, I'm going to make a quick interview with the uh, Business owner. Manang, hello po, good evening. Ano po pangalan nyo? Taga saan po kayo? Taga? Kikay. Doon po kayo nakatira. So, gano'n na po kayo katagal nagsisell dito sa kanto ng Kalipag? Ten years? Sampung. Ten years na kayo dito? Oh, parang ilang kong napadaan dito. So, ay bibili daw siya. So, ano po yung tinda nyo? Lugaw po. Lugaw, ang tawag. Lugaw. Sige, pati nga po ng lugaw nyo. So, ito po yung tinda ni Manang na lugaw ni ate. Magkano po per cup? 10 lang. Per cup only cost 10 pesos. Depende sa topping. So, yung mas mahal. Yung 10 pesos, ordinary. Look at the lugaw. Huh? It's nice, oh. Look here. Oh, oh. So, you're not staying here. Nagro-roam pa yun. Sa hanggang 4 to 7 and then saan kayo nagpupunta ulit? Basta pagka 7, Ni stay na kami dito. Kung baga kasi pag 7, ubus na siya. Parang paubos na talaga yun. So, yung 4, may pinanggalingan na kayong iba? Hmm, umikot na kami. Ah, okay. Oh, Anong oras sa umaga kayo nag-start? Nag Ay, hindi kami nagaan ng umaga. Hindi kami dumalabas. Basta oh. labas namin alas 4 lang. Dito lang kayo sa kalipahan. Wow, that's good. Ilang oras ka lang natitinda, no, mana? Sipin mo yan. It's good money. So, nag-start kayo sa 18. H how many months bago nyo nakuha yung na-recover yung... How many months before ma-recover nyo yung puhunan? Bawing-bawi na. So, Bawing-bawi na. So, 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 you were like uh, earning how much a day after nung... Bawing-bawi na dahil... 1,000 is na-earn? Oh, 1,000, makakabenta ka ng 2, 3 Wow, almost half So you see guys, this is a, a small business as you can see but it's really a good earning because it's on cash basis and um, the work is, uh, they just, the couple were just working like 4 p.m. until 7 p.m. 4, 5, 6, like 3 hours? Only 3 to 4 hours and they're earning like 1,000 pesos This is great money so who was cook, uh, who was cooking the the two of you were cooking the niluluto na siya hanggang ano oo, oo. kasi uh, parang sinusoak siya eh, no kaya ganyan yung ano niya Mika halo ba siyang glutinous rice it's just rice ordinary rice lang so I'm in Malaget, guys. Yeah, para ano? You see, I'm we're going to check on the. Ah, they have this ah, uh, pakpak. Manu, yun na lang nat. Oh, you you have three. Three that long class na ano? Ayaw malay if I'm not. I eat pa kasi yun dahil lahat ng pinuntang ko kina inang ko mula milk cream, magang bayan, ubusin liman daw ako kai. Hindi tigma ko lahat. Hindi na ako makai. Ah, sabi ko tapos. Nakita ko pa yung friend ko, pinakain ako. Pero if I'm not full, talaga kakain ko ako. Tapos may free water pa si Manang. Ano. May pa tubig pa sila. Unlike when you go to other stores, they don't put water. Like, 
Hero may meron silang free water for the Konji customers. So, um, what can you say, guys? This is small, but it's really good business. You can, uh, if you pass by here in Talaver, you see lots of uh, vendors of Lugao, even during evening, even during uh, night time. When you go to the town proper, also. But Manang's Lugao is, I think, Konji is different because, uh, it's just uh, seven, and the, her her luga was uh, like um, very uh, very saleable. And um, take a look. What time is it? It's just and ano lang po? Why is it? Uh, so according to Manang, they started uh, how many years na po? Then, they're they're started as they they started their business for ten years now, and they they were they purchased the food cart as a franchise to someone they they uh, met in on Facebook. It, it cost eighteen thousand ten years ago, so that was two thousand and one ah uh, two thousand eleven uh, two thousand eleven. Okay, so 2011, and she said that she was able to earn like more than uh, 1,000 to 1,500 pesos a day net of all expenses for working uh, just three hours from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. From here, she was getting their daily needs, and if she can even send her kids to school from her simple business. And uh, I think Manang hair was not uh, Ate hair was not really uh, finding hard time. She looks good. She she looks happy with the business, even smiling. You know when uh, you love your business, it's shown in the face, and the customers were really happy for the services that they provide. They're giving uh, delicious food, nutritious food for the customers. Uh, for for only ten pesos, you can taste their konji. And for the bigger cup, and for more ingredients, you can have it at 45 pesos. So really, um, really, uh, this is really an amazing business. Like Lolo, he's a regular customer. Lolo, lagi po kayo mabili dito? Opo, okay. Ah, meron din po sa loob. Okay. I'm going to the same person. So, yun. So, nakakato. <laughs> Hindi, ano lang to. Order lang ng ano ko friend na nasa Canada. Kasi they don't know kung ano yung mga kinabubuhay ng mga Pilipino. Kanina nga, pupunta pa ako sa tani man ng pala. Ilan naman nagtatanin. Tapos na. So, I'm going back tomorrow or other day siguro na meron so eto po look oh it's very uh, it looks very yummy look look at the konji okay lolo dance like uh, the old man said he was always buying konji here because it's delicious and very affordable this cost only 10 pesos it's already a complete meal. Look, oh, for 10 pesos, you were able to eat your dinner for 10. Where on earth can you find that kind of uh, meal? So that was it. Okay. A lot of customers coming in. Okay. Buy na po kayo. <laughs> ha, shame. Okay. So, that's all. Salamat po. Thank you very much for the nice interview. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Your, your uh, face is really beautiful. That's why your business is also doing good. Keep it up po.
Parang slow. Parang may lobby pa. May lobby pa. Wala na. Okay. Ah, mami pala. Magkano po ang order? 25. 25. So, ito po yung mga customer ni Mana. Manang, may quick ano lang ako ah. Gano'n na po katagal yung ano nyo, mami store? Gano'n na katagal? Ha? Five years? Ilang years na po? Ilang salin na tubos eh. O ba? Hindi talaga kayo yung unang may-ari dito. Magkano, how much capital po ang inumpisahan nyo? Nag-start kayo sa magkano capital? Unan. O. Hindi po. 3,000. And now, ngayon, 3,000 pa rin. Magkano yung neneto nyo sa isang araw? Double? Mabayad utang lang ng kapatid dito. May 1,000 naman po, ganyan. Okay. Good, ganyan siya. Nakakasurvive, nakakapagpaaral, nakakain. Magandang negosyo. Oo, oh, magandang negosyo po ito. Ang pagpaaral. Yun po ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat. Yung pangaraw-araw kasi yun ang mabigat. Hindi po ba manang ano? Yun po ang mabigat. So, nagtataka po siguro kayo bakit ako nandito. <laughs> Nagtatrabaho din ako kaya ako in-interview. So, yun. Palakad-lakad lang. Ayun. These are the customers. Oh, they are the regular customers here. So, According to Manang, she said it started with a three thousand pesos capital, and the family were getting their daily food and everyday needs and the school needs of the children from this business. This is also a good business because it's cash basis. They're selling a. Pwede po bang makahingi na isang mami? Dito po. Oh, isa. Hindi mo na ako kain. Musog na musog ako. Huwag na, mamaya na lang pagbalik ko later. Ayan, here's the mommy. So, mommy was like, it's, mommy, it's, different, it's different from konji because uh, it's basically from noodles, right? May egg. Uh, the soup of the mommy is from the broth of the meat. The skull of the pork. And then they have put in carrots, leeks, calamansi, Boiled egg, tokwa as well, and chicharon. So that's it. Mama, yun lang. Kung tama na ako tulay, ikut pa ako eh. Mama, mama, yun lang. Kakain ko lang eh. Talagang I'm here for interview lang. So I'll just walk. I'll walk around and show you that even up to this time, people here are doing something today. Get by. Salamat man ang na. Okay. So I walk around. I'm going to walk around. Look at them. They're eating their mug. Yeah. Good afternoon, guys. I'm here again at A and B Motor Shop in Talabera. This is also part of Mavisia in Region 3, Philippines, of course. So we're here. Right now, the livelihood here, as you can see, is all welding and machines and uh, general merchandises and uh, motor parts. This one with A and B, ay! with A and B is uh, they're uh, initially uh, giving services for motorcycles with. Uh, with sidecars and motorcycles without sidecars because here the main commodity is uh, motorcycles they basically um, use motorcycle to transfer people from one place to another so I'm going inside the store of Sir Alfred Sir Alfred here is the owner of the store he's also the seller of the <laughs> his, his wife is not here so he also sells and he's also um, mechanic at the same time he's selling motor parts like clutch 
clutch cable, throttle cable, so those parts. His wife is not here and he's too busy. He's also selling um, lubricant oils for different selling, yes. So, uh, Sir Alfred, how long have you been in this business? Almost four years. Almost four years. Started from how much capital, sir? Uh, that's only my tools. This is just your tools and the rent. I sell started. My, uh, sell my motorcycle. To have a capital, to operate. Operate. To, to pay the rent. Ah, to pay the rent. So, you usually just own a... Uh, one uh, uh before it is nothing it's nothing nothing yeah okay yes sir alfred is uh he looks uh, really you know he's not like the one uh, doing the white collar job but this guy is really uh it's really good because from scratch from nothing he was able to raise up uh currently a 1.8 million capital out of this store and he is his wonderful staff, which I don't know. What was your name? <laughs> He's always making uh, me piece off every time I'm here. This guy is really uh, nice. He is a nice guy. <laughs> good mechanic. He's a good mechanic. This guy here is, uh, I think he has, he has, here are the other parts of the, it's just two minutes, still need to walk. So they're doing lots of work here. Sir so Alfred, what do you call this? Here are the parts that they sell. Aside from services, they also sell motorcycle parts. Sa yung ano ko? Okay, I'm going to roam around. So really, sarado kay ano? Okay, while I'm doing uh, really moving. So, where is Miss Wang? Where's your wife? Right now, 20 minutes long na. Mm, she's not here. Oh, here are the machines that you use. Here are the machine that Sir Alfred is using to to uh, fix motorcycle. He basically started with this machine. How much that is, does it cost? Kuya Alfred, how much does it cost? We start selling Google Jewels over there. No, this machine, how much? Uh, 14,000. This co this machine cost, cost 14,000. 14, this is basically used for? This is used for? Saan yun yung gamit? It's for drilling. Dr drilling? Drilling. <laughs> drilling of? Drilling of metals, plastic. Drilling is curbing? Drilling. Bubutasan. Ah, drilling means to make holes. To make holes. This machine is a drill. This is a drilling machine. Yeah. This costs 4,000 pesos. Okay. This is used to make holes for heavy metals. Okay. Going in. I'm going to take a seat in it. So I'm still here. Hi, Wayne. Hi. The interview yesterday was not admitted because it has no voice. I got, I need headset, so I need to buy headset first. I was from CLSU. I'm tired. And from far, far I'm from farms. I need to have a two-hour interview. I'm still looking for sixty. Oh, di pa? Ano ba ulang? I'm going to make interview to you. Yan. So, I'm going to look around for the stocks. Look at this stock. This is the cost of 1.8 million, really. As you can see, their inventories are like, um, are like, uh, not systematic. I think they need a proper inventory. Proper inventory. What do you call this machine? Here is another equipment used to welding and to fix motorcycles. Yeah, I used it one. 
What else? Where have you been? So I'm here. I'm here in a Region 3 of Philippines, Talavera, Nueva Ecija, Philippines. So here we go. Uh, hi, Sophie. I'm here with the owner, uh, Sir Alfred. Hello. Kamusta po? Uh, I'm just going to make some interviews with the. Ano po ba yung nature ng business, sir? Motor shop and spare parts. Ano po? Okay. So we're here uh, in the motor shop of Sir Alfred. So Sir Alfred, ano po ba yung mga tinda nyo rito? What are the... Marami. Ano nga po? Commonly po, ano po yung Ulo, selling sa inyo? Ulo, interior, mga bere, plus, mga cabinet, okay. langis. Langis. Okay. So this was the livelihood program. Brake shoot. Brake shoot. Ano pa kaya ng staff nyo? ANV Motor Shop ANV So, ito po ang ANV Motor Shop Ito po yung kanilang uh, line of business So, here it goes Diyos ko, kaya ko kayang i-handle lang Can I handle a one hour interview with, with just the shop alone? One hour eh <laughs> So, ano pa ba pwede ko itanong? What are the other things that I can ask? Tagal naman ni Weng? Where is Weng? Kumusta po kayo dito, Kuya Alfred? Naglaba kasi ako eh, kaya ngayon lang ako makaano. Sometimes mahirap. Sometimes mahirap. Sometimes Ang hirap naman. Maganda ganun lang maghahanap buhay. Oo, ganun talaga. Maghahanap buhay na madali. Kung sa ano naman ako magpupunta, kung sa rice meal naman. Ah, alika bukod naman ako doon. Kaya lang, matagal-tagal ang coverage nyo. Kailangan kasi yung mga programs na ang gagawin ko siguro, isa dito, lilipat ako doon sa pero maglalakad pa rin ako talaga. Kasi $20 isang video eh, sayang din. Pag kami ako lang ngayon pang snack. So, ano pa ba ang mga, eh, nakakailang how many customers po ang, were you able to make in a day? How many customers in a day? Sometimes 30 to 50. 30 to 50. Ang average, how much did you? 15 to 20. Uh, how much po? How much is the? Okay. How much po is the? Normally, how much is the service fee for each ano customer? Depende sa sila. Pero on average po. Average 100, 150. 100, 150 pesos. I so small. Pero you were able to make like your you also have a list average po yon di ko 101 each person uh, for each repair how how many hours how many minutes uh 10 minutes Ang isang motor, bawa, kalahating araw namin ginawa. 2-5. 3-5. 3-5. Okay. Pero yung minimum ka mo, yung mga mabilisan, tapos yung minimum mabilisan. 100 something. 50-100, 150. Kaya average na yung 100. Kaya yun. Pero... 10 minutes, 100. How much is the... The the lowest is 50 pesos. 50. Mostly for 30. Mostly for the 50 pesos repairs. Ano po yung nature change oil? Ah, that's just 50. Yeah, yeah, so for the highest, uh, for the highest is? The highest uh, repair ay 1.5. 1.5? What, what kind of services is for overhaul? Ah, 1,500 is for overhauling of motorcycle, okay? So, um... Um, are you open uh, like Monday to Sunday? You don't have days off. Okay, so no day off, no day off for Sir Alfred. So how many uh, staff or technicians do you have here? No holidays. How many staff do you have here with you? Uh, oh, yes. 
almost uh, 1.8 million. Oh, okay. 1.8 million uh, is uh, uh, the cost of the inventory. How many people do you have here helping you around? Uh, three. Three? Uh, sometimes four or five. Four or five, okay. So, okay, so that's it. Uh, I hope you bear with me. I will be staying for an hour, Kuya Alfred, and we're just like for uh, five minutes. <laughs> oh my god. How what I, will I do? I'm going to run. I'm going to transfer to another. I think I'm going to do another interview there. Sa Lugaw, Lugaw. So I'm going to stay here for 30 minutes with Alfred and then I'll walk around. So here is the. Here are the types of um, services that uh, Sir Alfred is uh, giving to his customers. Here is the inventory. And. Um, I can show myself. Hi. So, um, what time were you usually starting to work? 6:30. 6:30 in the morning? Oh, yes. Up to 5:30, oh, Up to 6. Oh, yeah. Up to 8. Okay. 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 So. Um, A day of Christmas or New Year. So you think the business is doing well? Uh, how long? The business. How long four is years. it? Almost four years. Okay, it's so September. it's coming September. So, what are the? Um, how much capital do you initially started with this we, shop? We start, we start zero. Zero. No, no. Zero, zero. Yeah. Uh, what I'm saying is, uh, you put a rent. There's a capital, and there's an inventory, and in the machine. So those those were not. You can say it's just it's zero. Just my tools. Ah, just the basic tools. And then, uh, how, how come you have this uh, merchandise with you right now? Where did you get it? From the earnings? You roll it from the earnings. So, uh, Sir Alfred here has... Uh, earnings and the lending. Yeah, from the lending. So, Sir Alfred here right now um, has like um, total inventory cost of 1.8 million. He started from uh, zero with the use of his tools only. So, um, yeah, and the store is uh, uh, existing for four years now, right, Sir Alfred? Yeah, 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 I, I still remember uh, your wife used to sell uh, buku juice and shomai. I was even uh, one of the customers. Good morning guys, I'm Alma here. I'm on my way to Monyos, Nueva Ecija. We're going to uh, look at the... We're going to check on uh, Milka Krem in Monyos, Nueva Ecija. This is called the Science City, Science City of Monyos. And Milka Krem was one of the proud uh, product of Central Luzon State University. In Monyos, Nueva Ecija, you can find the... Uh, you can find the... Uh, Philippine Carabao Center um, and also the Central Luzon State University and this, this is where Milka Krem is located so I will be traveling for about 20 to 30 minutes so hold on guys I'll get back to you thank you so hi guys I'm here in um as you can see, I'm here in the city of Monyos. You can see that? Can you see that, guys? I'm here in uh, Milka Krem. Can you see that? Milka Krem, Milka Krem is in CLSU. CLSU stands for Central Luzon State University. So, the word university, we have lots of uh, students here. This, uh, this university was existing for hundreds or hundreds of years, I think. So Milka Krem was made from fresh Carabao's milk wherein um, the PCC is also located. PCC stands for 
Philippine Carabao Center. So the produce of fresh milk was from a PCC which is located inside the CLSU. So we're going to walk around. You see that guys? There are a lot of people coming in because uh, they have lagoons here. Okay. Lots of people are coming in because of the nice uh, food they offer like yogurts okay i'm going to get in and take a look look at the customers they're really, they're really um regular customers of milk or creme so i'm going inside and check the products of milk or creme so that's it so here it is hello my dog so here are the sorry sorry are the cakes we have here the apple pie the choco white choco almond blondie carrot cake I, I just ate red velvet cupcake it's really good carrot cake blueberry cheesecake rebel bar they also have this look at that what? those were the menus the play, they, they have for face smoothies soda cold beverages hot beverages, Dillman tea, fresh, freshest carbon milk. Look at this. They also have this um, collector's item. You see that, Sophia? It's great. The other one. Say hi again. The file was deleted. So here's the product of Philippine Carabao Center. They also offer, aside from the Carabao's milk, they also offer Carabao Smith Deli, such as Tapa, Corned Beef, Hot Dog, Hungarian, Italian, and Jalapeno. I'm going to often. Okay. Here's the Cardelli. Prime Selections Hungarian Meat, meat from Carabao. Okay, we have the Cold Comfort Local Treats. We have here different flavors. The berries tilapia ice cream i just ate tilapia ice cream a while ago and it's really 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 nice the taste is really really good it's not like the ordinary ice cream that we found on the stores so they have there the you got the fresh milk okay the carabos fresh milk so you saw that Sophia? fresh milk for 1000 ml is only 175 and the uh, smallest um, we have fresh meal as well for 35 pesos but this is 200 ml only so we go to the next uh, one they oh, oh they got this uh, this is a new one this is a choco milk made out of carbos milk combined with chocolate as well okay choco milk a lot of choco milk and we have this uh, PCC Dairy Lacto Juice. I love this one. I've tried this one and this is really good. This is really healthy. Okay. And we have here the Nutri Rice Milk. Nutri Rice Milk. It's, it's more than just a milk as it says. It's good for uh, the brain. It's good for the brain. I'm going to buy this one later. And they have the finest Silvanas. I love this. I, I love their Silvanas. It's really yummy. Okay. So the next one is in, oh, they got here the yogurt. This is all from Parabao's milk, okay? We got here the yogurt in a strawberry flavor. Wow, it costs only 170 at 1000 ml. So guys, you better come here at Munoz City so you taste the finest yogurt and fresh milk. The other one is non-fat milk. Oh, it's, oh, it's buy one, take one, like. The regular price is 180 but if you buy one then you get another free one they're doing this for um, when like uh, during weekends they got sale like this so go here on weekends so another one is a uh, yogurt another yogurt this is uh, my kids favorite it's in blueberry blueberry yogurt it's just the same with the and the other one is the yema cake. Look at this, really yummy. And we have this um, 
PCC Milkaroons. So instead of macaroons, we have milkaroons. I've tasted it and it's really good. And the milkaroons. Oh, it's pol polburon. I think it's polburon and not macarons. Instead of polburon, it's milkaroon. So the other one is really the great, great, great and yummy, yummy, yummy kesong puti. I love this. This is really mild and creamy. This is really good. I love this one. Sophia, when you came here, you can come and get it. I'm gonna taste this. Okay. I'm going to the next door and here's the... Oh, the pastillas de leche. This is the famous pastillas de leche. Pastillas made out of fresh caramel milk. So, okay, that's it. And we have this uh, collector's item again. Okay. I'm going to tour around, roam around. Again, Mano, I'm here. Another flavor of ice cream. We have here the, the vanilla. This is the vanilla ice cream. Okay, I'm going outside. I'm going outside. I'm going to walk around. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm walking. I'm, oh, this is the where the milk was being processed. This is the processing area of milk a creme. You saw those tanks? You saw those tanks. This was used. This was used uh, to manufacture the the milk. See those machines? Yes. It's really neat out here. Really, really um clean manufacturing, clean areas. Hello, Manong. Hello, Manong. Can I invite? Ah, you're going to eat mo na si po. You eat mo na, and I'm just looking around. Okay. So here's the. This is where the cheese was being processed. You saw that kesong puti. You look at that cheese bag. There, where the milk is, uh, is being what do you call that? Sterilized. Okay. So here are different stages of um, processing the milk, turning it to yogurt, fresh milk, to yema, different. Um, different uh, areas were designated for each product like for yogurt there's this area that's specifically for yogurt and this area is for ice cream okay look at that this is for the ice cream this is the facilities that they use for the ice cream and right now i'm here watching how they make how they make pastillas so you see that big machine it's grinding right now See that big machine making a yema? This was made out of um, fresh carabao's milk. You can see that? It's really huge. As in, uh, you can put in two people in there. So everything was... Hello? I don't know if I can get inside an interview. Go on for interview. But I'm going to look around. Going to look around. Okay going to look around later i will go inside and uh, have interviews this is the tank where uh, this is a storage it's called a storage tank where and the milk was stored so that and then they were kept inside these uh, little tanks so then this is the way they process their products this costs millions of money the equipment was from Japan. Okay. So this is the homogenizer. Homogenizer. The mixing tanks. We have the mixing tanks there. Okay. So I'm go I'm walking again. So here we here is where the mixing tank is located. The tank capacity is five hundred liters. Okay. It was used for mixing milk. This is the raw milk cooling tank, the receiving vat weighing scale, the plate cooler. Okay. Here's where um, the materials were recorded, weighed, measured, and kept. This is the quality testing section.
Have you been able to detect beliefs that you have adopted and that perhaps in another environment it would not be applicable? Or even beliefs that could change your point of view about behaviors in your current life? We hope that this video has made you think about some of the beliefs we have and some of the lies that people adopt. We do not claim that they are better or worse, but simply another point of view that allows us to think. Please share with us the contradictory popular beliefs you have observed in this video in the comments below. We are happy to open our minds to your comments. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. The goal of this channel is for one day, created devices that can access the highest and most efficient part of our mind that allow us to do whatever we desire to achieve. Break the vicious circle of, of mind manipulation proposed by the society. We would like to challenge you, subscribers, to submit to us popular beliefs that you realized hold us back. We will together look at it in a different angle. The most viewed of the month will receive a gift from the channel and a special shout out. Subscribe and be part of this exciting movement.